Good day, everyone, and welcome to what welcome to today's class. My name is Yada Abdulwasir from ICAN Online, and we are going to continue from what from management. And let me make a well, let me make a brief recap of some of the things that we discussed in the world in the last class, or let's say in the world in the last section of the syllabus as well. This was syllabus section B now that we are going to what that we are talking about. And during the war, during the syllabus section uh, A, we're able to talk about what was the nature of what uh, natures of what business. We talk about what different forms of what organization, whether it is a sole proprietorship, whether it's a partnership, whether it is a corporation. We also what we also look about what we also look about why does uh, why business fail? What was the reason why a business will fail? And during the war, during the last class, we're able to talk about what we're able to talk about business environment. In terms of what, even though the what, uh, what you intended to be doing, the service that you are intended to be running, the product that you intended to be selling, even though they are good enough, but if the what, if the business environment is not what is not good, that can cause the what, that can really cause the what a big problem. So business have to do a what, a careful what, a careful environmental what. Uh, you have to analyze your business environment. We talk about some of the models that we can use to analyze our business environment as well. So today we are going to what we are going to be talking from the world from the syllabus section B, which is what we call what uh, we call it management what uh, management process and thought. So we are talking about what management history and thought management history. We have a lot of what looking about different what different management scholar. All of them are what they are really contribute what significantly to development of what to development of management. We'll be looking about different of them today. So let's kick off. Management can be defined as the what? Management can be defined as the process of what? Planning, organizing, directing, and what? Controlling the resources of an organization in order to achieve its goal effectively. That is what? That is management. Management is what? Management is process. Management can be defined as a process because you need to plan. Once the plan is there, you also need to organize it. Oh, you go this way. Let's do it this way. Let's do it that way. You need to direct people as well because it is what they, 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 we still have to have what human interaction. People have to come together. And if people are coming together to achieve a goal, there is, has to be what direction. There has to be what different, uh, there has to be a segregation of duty. Oh, you are the one that is doing this. I'm the one that is doing that. And we also need to work, we also need to control our resources as well. We also need to control the what? Control the resources of what? Control the resources of the organization. Resources are what? Resources are scarce. So we need to make what? Making the best uses of it. It's also one of the what, one of the reasons why we need to have a good management you know, uh, that will be running this organization. In order to achieve his what? In order to achieve his goal effectively. Every organization have goals. You have developed your world, you have developed your mission statement. When we say mission statement, mission statement is the reason for existence of that organization. It's the reason why you're in business. What do you want to do? Which type of service do you want to render? Which type of product are you selling? So once you are, once you have this mission, then you have to plan, you have to work towards it so that you're able to work, so that you're able to achieve it. So what are some of the allies from this world, from this particular word definition that we say what? Management is the process of what? Organizing, directing. Uh, you, you plan, you organize, you direct, and you control. Is it a word? From the, what are some of the highlights? It is a word, it is a process. It is a word, it is a process. Management is a word, management is a process. A process of what? Management is seen as a word, as a process, consists of what? Four distinct, but what? But related. In terms of what? It consists of what? Four different what? Four different activities, which are what? Which are interrelated. Meaning that what? You can't remove one. Don't worry, very soon we'll be talking about what? System theory. So the success of organization is made up of what? Different subsystems. So this process is not what? It's not in isolation of one. If you plan, you have to organize as well. If you are organizing, there has to be a directing, there has to be a control. So these processes are what are interrelated. And each of these processes, the main purpose of this process is to achieve the organization goal. Then we also have resources. 
We have, we have the human, we have the financial, we have the physical, we have the information, we have the managerial. So all these resources are what that's cars. So you need to make what you need to make best uses of them. Efficiency, using what the resources wisely and in a cost effective manner. Efficiency, using your resources wisely. Resources are scarce. So whatever the resources that you have, you have to try as much as possible, manage it very well in a cost effective manner. In a cost effective manner, using resources wisely. Use them very okay. Don't what? Don't use resources anyhow. Whatever you have excess, make sure that you keep it. Oh, don't say, oh, in this season or in this particular word, in this particular year, oh, I made a word, a large amount of profit. Then you cannot be spending anyhow. No, you have to try as much as possible. Use your resources wisely, whether financial or non-financial. And in a what? In a cost-effective manner. Effectiveness is about what? Making the right decision. I'm implementing that. Once you make the word, once you make the decision, you make the right decision, you have, then you have to also need to what? You also need to what? Implement them as well. Who is the manager? <laughs> who is the manager? The person whose primary responsibility is to carry out the word, the management process. So there's the word, the manager is the engine room, is the one that will carry out this process. What are the process? The planning, the organizing, the directing, the control. So it's the manager that will ensure all this work, all this process are being achieved. Manager, the person whose primary responsibility is to carry out the word, the management process. Efficient word, efficient manager does things right. We have the bad manager. We have efficient manager. We have what inefficient word manager. Efficient manager are those that what that does the right thing. An effective manager does the what does the right thing. Effective manager does the right thing at all what at all time. Does the right thing at all time. So what is what? What is management? Management is the process of what you plan, you organize, you direct, you control the resources of an organization in order to achieve this goal efficiently. All right. So what are the, some of the highlights from this definition? We say is a process, interrelated process. Resources, whether financial or non-financial, efficiency, effectiveness, the manager. What is the purpose of management? It is crucial to know that the main purpose of manage, management is to achieve the corporate goal and objective in what? Efficient and effective what manner. Don't forget this, that's the purpose is to achieve the goals and objective of the organization. That is the purpose of what management. The purpose of management is to achieve what? Is to achieve the corporate goals and objectives. Those, let's not ask ourselves a certain question now. Why is management needed? Why is management needed in what? In an organization, why do you need it? Why do you need management? Why do you need management? And we say that we, in order to be able to answer this word, this question, there's a need to briefly discuss the concept of goal, effectiveness, and what, and efficiency. So now, in order for able to, uh, for our for horse to be able to understand, so that we're able to give the best answer to this question that why do we need management? But have it at the back of your mind that what is the purpose of management? The purpose of management is to what? is to help to achieve the corporate goals and objective in what in can if eff uh, effective and efficient what manner then a question is not pumping up now that why do why uh, why is management needed but have it at the back of your mind first before we start talking about why is management needed what is the purpose of management the purpose of management is to achieve the corporate goals and objective so what is goal goal can be seen as the word as the hand result which can organizations seek to what? Seek to realize or what? Accomplish. This refers to kind and levels of what? Achievement desired by the organization. For example, what target sales volume has been set by the company? The company's target sales volume for the year could be what? 3 million, 3.5 billion, 
Why is profits could be what? Why recovery could be 20% return on what on the investment. So the ROI, return on investment, and I said the target of what? 20%. 20% return on what? 20% return on investment. What is your sales volume? How many what? How many sales do you plan to achieve? Oh, I plan to I have uh, a sales target of what? 3.5 billion. That is, your, that is your goal. It is your word. It is your desire result. It is a improved result. So everything that you are doing that is to is for you to be able to achieve that what is for you to achieve that goal. Goal can be defined as the word as the end result, the, the desire end result. For every activities that you are doing, there's a desire result for it. There is a goal for it. Why do you want to become an 18? Why? There's a goal behind it. So the what? The end result of it. And this is what is the final level now. Goal can what? Goal can be seen as the word as the end result of an organization seeks to realize or to do what? Or to accomplish. Goals and objective and goals and objective are somehow what related as well. What is what? What is effectiveness? So for everyone, before that, go, every, uh, goals and objective are used what interchangeably. However, every goals and objective must have what this characteristics. Every goals and objective must have this characteristic. And we use this memory called what? SMART. I want you to note it down. Every characteristics of goals and objective must be what? SMART. S-M-A-R-T. S-M-A-R-T. Every goal and objective must be what? Must be smart. The S is means it must be what? Specific. S is for what? Specific. It has to have, oh, it is this area. It has to be specific. The M is what? Measurable. The M is what? Measurable. The A is what? The, the, the data, the input data that you're going to use must be what? Accurate. The R is what? Realistic. R is what? Realistic. T is what? Time bond. S is what? Specific. M is what? Measurable. A is what? Accurate. R is what? Uh, realistic. And T is what? Is time bond. You have to achieve, there has to be a time bond because that's very, very important. That, oh, this goal, I must achieve it at the end of what? By this also what? By this also year? By this also month? So what is now effectiveness? Effectiveness is the word, is the ability to choose what appropriate objective or the appropriate means of achieving the giving word. The giving objective. In other words, can effective management select the right thing to do or the right method of getting a particular word, a particular things done. So if you are an effective manager, you have to try as much as one of the what, one of the characteristics that effective manager should what you show is what? How were you able to get this thing done in the world, in the right? How do, what? Selecting the right, the right things to do, the right mentor. Which mentor are you going to use to what to accomplish this? We say the purpose of management is to achieve the what? The goals and objective of the organization. So as a manager now, which mentor do you want to use to accomplish this? So effectiveness has to do with what? Selecting the world, the best mentor. Selecting the world, the right mentor, so that you're able to achieve the desired goals and objectives. So what is now the word, the management process? Management process, as we say, it consists of what? It consists of planning. It consists of what? Organizing. We are going to be talking about each of these one, one after the other. It's leading. Consists of what you need to also what you also need to control. All right. Management process. Management is the word, management is a process involving a certain function and work activity the manager must perform to achieve can what enterprise's goal. Management is a process, is a process involving a certain function. What are the functions? Planning, organizing, directing, controlling making the world the right decision. So management is a process involving a word, a certain function and work activities. The manager must what? The manager must perform 
to achieve can enterprises with goals. Manager use what? Manager use principle that guide management what process. The four management, the four fundamental functions of what the manager is what plan. You organize, you lead. It is about what directing and you what you controlling. Plan is the word is setting what organization go and decide on the course of action to achieve them. So you need to what you need to plan. There's a building block of what of management process is what is planning. It's planning. You have to plan. If you don't want to fail, you have to plan. If you want to be a successful manager, you have to plan. Uh, so let's say what the course of action to achieve the goal is referred to as what well, decision was making. Selecting the course of action to achieve the goal. So selecting the course of action to achieve the goal is what we call what decision. So, and decision making is very, very what important. Is the word, it is very fundamental to planning because you have to make decision for So once you make decision, then you now be planning towards that. So as a manager, you have to be very, very careful. As individual, you have to be very, very careful for you to work, make the right decision. Because when you're making decision, decision making is what? Selecting the word, selecting the best course of action because you have different alternative. So once you have the different alternatives, oh, should I do it this way? Or should I do it that way? First of all, you have to sit down very well. Get a word, a reliable data. Analyze them so that you're able to make the what the best decision. Because once you make, you make a wrong decision, all your planning and all that management process, it's a word, it's just be as a waste of time. Planning is word is futuristic. It's about the field, it's futuristic in the sense that the company has to identify the opportunity and trend that lie in the world in the future and to decide on the course of action presently to explore the opportunity and prepare to face the trend. That is opportunity, that, that is planning. Planning is what is futuristic. Majority of what, what we are be talking about, planning can be divided into three sometimes. We have what we call what short term, the long, and we also have the medium. Short, medium, and what, and long term planning. But planning is about the future. If I'm planning towards what, October, if I'm planning towards December now, we may not, we may still be in what, in January now, I'm planning towards the what, towards December of this year. I'm planning towards what, October of this year, but I'm still in January. So planning is what is futuristic in nature. I'm ready, future, I'm ready doing some forecast. That, oh, these are opportunities that I can tap in. And please, you have to have it at the back of your mind as a manager. That once there's opportunity, there's also what there's also trend. So, but as a good manager, you should be able to what maximize what a large numbers of opportunity and try as much as possible to reduce the trend. Get many opportunity and try as much as possible to reduce the trend that come along the way. Organizing, organizing is defined as the word as the management function of grouping tasks and assigning resources to carry out a what a specific what a specific job. That is organizing. For a specific plan has been established to achieve the organization goal, organizing function examine the activities and resources that we require. That, oh, okay, we have made a plan that we want to achieve the what, a sales target of this. We want to do this by what, by this so, so time. Then you have to organize. So organize is now what? Bringing all your resources bringing them all your resources so that you're able to what you're able to achieve the what the plan uh and the plan target that you have what that you have set leading leading is the world is the third basic function which is the world which is the most challenging of all managerial function leading is defined as a set of process used to get people to work together to meet the world the same so when you are not leading now, oh, there's a lot of work. This one is because this one have element of what human resources here. It have element of people here. Leading is defined as a word as a set of process used to what used to get people to work together. Ah, and this will be very very difficult sometimes. 
because getting people to work together, especially what people from different ethnicity group, different from what cultural background, you are now bringing all of them together in what in one office and asking them to work to work together. Every each of what each of these people that are coming to work together, each of them grew up in a different environment. Oh, I was born in what? I was born in Netherlands. You are born in what? You are born in Italy. Your place of birth is in what is in Nigeria. Your place of birth in South Africa is in Libya. So when you are not bringing people together now to work together in the world, in a common, uh, in a single office, you can see now all these people now, there's Muslim, there's Christian, there's all kind of what, especially in the world, international organization. There's all kind of world, people from different world, from different ethnicity, from different uh, religion. So you can see it to be very, very difficult. So what to lead people? Sometimes <laughs> to lead people is very, very well. It's just something that is very, very difficult, honestly. And as a leader, as a manager, you have to try as much as possible to make sure you what you understand them. Make sure you understand them. And whatever the what the need of the team, whatever the need of the group, you're able to give uh, give it to them, listen to the oh, what do you want? What is their concern? So that you're able to achieve the goal. It is a function of influencing, motivating, and directing what human resources towards achieving the world organization, world organization goal. Those are what we call controlling. Controlling is the world is the final phase and refers to monitoring of what? Monitoring of organization process towards the goal. That is what we call control. It's about what? Monitoring. The target that we have set, are we achieving it? Controlling function involves what? Four main elements. Four main what? Four main elements. What are the elements of what? Element of controlling. It's establishing what? Establishing standard of performance. Establishing standard of performance, measuring the current performance, compare the performance with the standard, and worst, in case of derivation, take action. First of all, you need to establish what performance. You need to establish what performance. I'm trying to if I can make a what, if I can make a, a little note. So now look at this. Let's say the number one. You what you establish a target of what one thousand what one thousand units as your what as your sales as your sales units. Then the next thing you have to measure the current performance. What do we have? Oh, we able to sell what we able to sell eight hundred what eight hundred units. The third thing is that you need to do now is to what comparing the performance with established standard. What is the word? What is the standard? This is the word. This is the standard. This is the word. This is the standard. This is the standard. What is the actual? What is the actual performance? This is the word. This is the actual performance. This is the word. The actual performance. Then the third one is what you now need to compare them. You need to compare the two. So that means that you have a word, a difference. That's the third thing. You have a difference of what now? You have a difference of what? 200. Then there will always be what? There will always be deviation. And sometimes we pray that the deviation should be favorable. So here now, it is what? It is the deviation is unfavorable. All right? So if the devil, in the case of deviation, take what corrective action, there will always be deviation. But we always pray, we always what? We always work towards what? Making sure that the words, the deviation is what is favorable. Like for example, now you set a standard of what one thousand. You cannot be what a situation whereby you are able to sell what one five. So the difference now that you have here is what is five hundred, and this is what this is good. This is what this is favorable. All right. So control. What are the elements of what establish the standard? Measure the current performance. Compare the current performance with the world with the standard. In case there's a deviation, take corrective action. If it is favorable, we need to talk, we, we not need to be talking now on how we can maintain it. If it is unfavorable now, we need to be talking about how can we correct it. You need to take corrective action.
management uh, management decide on the what on the activities management decide on the activities or the inputs that are critical to what to success how and where they can be what measure at a reliable cost and who have the authority to take what to take corrective or to take corrective action who is the manager you can remember in the first place we have made mention of this look at it here the manager is what the manager, a person whose primary responsibility is to carry out the word the management process. A manager is someone who is the primary responsibility is to carry out the word, is to carry out the management process. What are the management process? Planning, organizing, directing, and what? Controlling. So the individual who carries this out is what we call what? Manager. All right. Who is a manager? A manager what constitutes a group of people responsible for directing the effort, aiming at work, helping the organization to achieve their goal. Manager set the tone, it give the direction, just like a leader. It give the direction, these are where we are going, and influence the attitudes of world employees to work or to work towards that. In addition, Manager what? Manager is someone whose primary duty is to drive the management process. At least that's what we talk about in the world in the first page. Manager is someone who carry out the world, the management process. What are the management process? You direct, you control, you organize, you plan. So who does that is what we call a word, a manager. All right? Level of what? Level of management. Level of what? Management. You have what? You have three levels. We have what we call the top, we have what we call the mid, and we also have what we call the world, the lower, or sometimes we call it the word, the first line, the lower, the middle, and the what, and the top. So who is the top? Who is the middle? Who is the what? Who is the, the lower level manager now? And according to Griffin, it was in 1999, he said that what these categories of manager make up what really small group of business executives who are charged with the responsibility of managing the entire organization those men and women bear the title such as what the president the vice president the ceo the executive director and the like the world the chief financial world officer those are what those are top management people and majority of the time, we find these people at the board, at the head office, the president, the vice president, the CEO, the senior executive. Those are the what the top management. Then it is not the what it is not the top management that will not give instruction, just like the what the head office now. The head office will give what will give instruction to the what to the branch. So in the branch now we have what what we call what the branch manager. We are what we call the word the branch manager. So in what in branch as a branch manager now, there's a lot. We all you also have some what head of department HOD that you are also giving instruction to. So each head of department now will now report to the branch manager, like the finance manager, the production manager, the marketing manager in that particular branch will report to the word the branch manager. The branch manager is the head. Then, so the, the branch manager now is serving a role of what the middle level manager. Then the branch manager will also report to the world, to the head office. So who is the branch manager reporting to now? Those are what we call the what the top manager. This group of manager represent the world, the large group of manager in most world organization. They are what plant manager, operational manager, divisional what divisional head. They are solely responsible for implementing the policies and plans already established by what you can see. They are what that is their what whatever the head office the, the head office will give instruction to the world to the uh to the branch manager. Then the branch manager will also uh, dis uh, disseminate this particular information to what to the each uh to the head of department to the what the marketing manager to the what to the production the sales and the rest like that. You can see. They are what solely responsible for implementing what management pro 
management policy plan already established by what by top managers and are also what coordinating the activities of the world the lower level yeah what do plant manager do they are what they are charged with the responsibility of what inventory quality control equipment failure union problem and furthermore they coordinate the work of what supervisor within what within the plants so the branch manager now, or as the head of the what of this particular division now, I also have what I also have different head of department that is what that is reporting to me. Don't worry, very soon we'll be talking about what organization structure as well. We have different organization structure, or sometimes we call it what organization organogram, or referred to as what organization charts. We also have what we call what first line what first line manager. So the first line manager we call them what lower level what. Lower level management, uh, lower level manager. They are what? They are head of what? They are head of department. Their basic assignment is to supervise and coordinate the activities of what? Operating what? Employee. So, as a what? As the marketing manager now, as a marketing what? As a marketing, as the head of what? Marketing department now, I also have people under me. As the what? As a finance manager now, I also, I also have people. I also have accounting officer that is reporting to the what? To the finance what? Manager. And the finance manager will now report to the what? To the uh, divisional manager now. So you also, as a first line manager, their basic assignment is to supervise and coordinate the activities of what operating what operating employee. In many cases, the first line manager includes coordinator, supervisor, office manager. Those positions are the what the first title held by employee who enter the what who enter management what position from the rank of, of what operating what. Is the first position that you have is head of department. From head of department, then you cannot be moving to what, like maybe for example, in the what in the police personnel now, you cannot be what a DPO now. The DPO is the what is the divisional what the divisional what manager in that particular what in that particular station. As the DPO in what in this particular station at this particular area is also reporting to someone. They also are what we call what head of what head in terms of what they can group them. They can group them into what into region. So, for example, now if what this is the state capital now. Let's say, for example, now this is what Nairobi now. In Nairobi now, we can have what different what we can have different police station now. So, in Nairobi now, there will be a what there will be a particular what there will be a particular head now that all what all DPO in what in police station in Nairobi will be reporting to, and this head now will be reporting to the what to the commissioner of what will be reporting to the commissioner of police. And the commissioner of police will also be reporting to another what another one, which is usually at the what at the state uh, at the country capital. So it depends on the what depend on the system of government that we, uh, in that particular country as well. So what are the manager role? What are the role of manager? What are the role of manager? And please, who is a manager? A manager is someone that what is someone that carries out the word the management process. So what are managerial role? And this managerial role, please, I want you to take care of it very well. We check your inside. You are going to see it there. The examiner has said this in words in numbers of time, not one, not two, and that will not be the end. So what are the what, what are the managerial role? Managerial role can be categorized into three according to what Misbach. We have what we call what interpersonal role. We also have what we call information, and we also have what decisional or decisional role. So managerial role can be categorized what into what? It can be categorized into three, and total of them it is what it's ten. So we what who give this particular what uh, rules of manager, and it is really what acceptable is what is missed by. In what in 1973 develop a model of the related role of, of managers after a careful study of five executives to determine what what managers do on their job that is he come up with this after what a careful what study of five executives to determine what managers do on their jobs 
So it's not just that just uh, Miss Bag just wake up one day and said, no, it's, there's a careful, there's a word, a careful studies. So we now have one non core words. We have what we call uh, interpersonal rule, interpersonal rule. And what, what do we have under interpersonal rule? And you see, interpersonal rule has to do with what? The ability to relate with people very well. Ability to, if I say, oh, I have a good interpersonal rule, it means, oh, I have the what? The ability to able to what? Understand what people mean, relate with them very well. That even though if I'm not in that particular team anymore, you are going to miss me, okay? And it's a good rule that every one of us, we should always try as much as possible to develop code word interpersonal. So what are the, some of the things that we have under interpersonal? We have what we call figurehead rule. Figurehead rule in terms of what? In this rule, every manager has to perform some work, some ceremonial work duty, such as what? Attending what? Attending ceremony. Entertaining what dignitaries and what attending to important what customer go ahead. So if they are doing any meeting, oh, you represent your organization. So if there's what well, if there's any seminar now, I'll represent my what I'll represent my department. I'm serving as the what as the head leader. As a what as a leader, this role is to hire, is to retain, is to motivate and direct the activities of their subordinate towards the accomplishment of the organization goal. So as a leader, you're able to do what? Hire the best employee, train them, motivate them. We are still going to be talking about this when we get to what the human resources, what aspect of this particular syllable. We have to talk about motivation. We have to talk about what? How you what? How, uh, recruitment. That's like what we call what? Hire. We have to talk about what? Training. We have to talk about development and directing the activity of the subordinate, managing what conflict within teams, managing conflict within group. This is one of the most important role as a manager that has to play. You have to play the role of the word of the leader. As a leader, what are the, some of the things that you do? You need to work to hire, to train them, to motivate them. You also work, you also direct them so that we're able to achieve. And the main reason of doing all this is for us to achieve the what the organization work the organization goal. Then we also have what we call what liars. From the word liars, ask yourself, what, what, what do you refer to, liars? What do we, when we say liars, what are we talking about? What do you think we are referring to? As a layman, when we say liars, what do you think we are referring to? Say you are liasing with people. This role involves what activities, by which can executive what? By which can executive executive develop and maintain contact with people and group outside the organization for the purpose of coordinating what effort to achieve a what a common goal. Oh, you are not in my organization. We can talk to you. We can have some interaction together. Okay. This role involves what activities by which executive develop and maintain contact. As a word, as a woman, be one of your words, one of our most valuable assets is people. It's people. If you are having any problem which is going to help you, is what is we still need individuals to help you to solve it. All right. So those are the what those are the three rules that we have under our interpersonal rule. Figure right? in terms of what representing the what representing the organization in some meeting, meeting with some customer leader, how to do it well, recruit, you all you train, you motivate, and you also direct them as well. Liars with people, talking with people outside the organization, maintaining them, maintaining contact with them outside the organization for the purpose of what. For the purpose of coordinating effort to achieve a work to achieve a common goal. Other informational role, what are some of the roles that we have under informational role? Monitor, manager seek for information and receive what on solicited what information relevant to the organization from both internal world and external. Manager will seek for what information. You need information. 
We need what good information, effective information, whether within the organization or what? outside the organization. Disseminating. So once you receive the word, the information, whether within the organization or outside the organization, you now need to disseminate it. Now you need to send it out to your subordinate. So whatever the word, the people under you as a manager. Once you receive the information, that is one. That's what we call monitor. Receive the information, whether within the organization, whether internal or what or external. So once you receive the information, the next thing that will take place is what disseminator. This role entailing the word, the transmission of word, relevant information to supervisor, peers, or subordinates who need the information for their work, for their work. You transmit it with them. Don't just keep information with you. Spokesman. In this role, the manager transmits information to various people and group outside the organization. Thus, it advises shareholders about the financial performance and assure group that the organization is meeting its word, its societal word obligation. Maybe relating to CSR, you also talk to people within your world, within your geographical location as well. So you will you talk to the shareholders, oh, these are what well, these are financial performance for this also what for this also, yes, yeah, this is the profit. This is what these are our total revenue, these are what these are our profits. So in this role, the manager transmits what? Information to various groups, to various people and group outside the world, the organization. He advises the shareholder about the financial performance. It's assured various stakeholders that the organization is what is socially what responsible. Is meeting the word, the societal obligation. What the society, uh, what the society expects from us, we are doing it. We are doing CSR. We are donating transformers to various community. We are, uh, we are improving the word, the health facility in this particular. We are meeting the word, the societal obligation. What you expect, or uh, what is socially responsible organization to do? We are doing it. The manager should do that. If you're able to talk to people. And the last rule, which is what we call what uh, decisional what decisional rule. And what are some of the rules? What are some of the rules that we have under decisional? We have what we call entrepreneur, disturbance, resources allocator. So let me explain this. Those three entrepreneur, entrepreneur rule. This involve manager generating what ideas. This involved was manager generating what ideas, initiating new projects and program, as well as seeking and identifying opportunity to promote improvement and the world the need of change, entrepreneurial role. The manager is also involved in the development and impl implementation of what? Implementation of change strategy. We are seeking to talk about what? We are seeking to talk about uh, change management. It's still, it's still part of what is still part of our syllabus. We are going to talk about change management. Oh, we are using computer uh, manual system the four. We are not thinking of introducing a what a computerized system. There are some that will, that will accept the change, and there are some that will, that will, that will oppose this change. And for change to be successfully implemented, those that is supporting it must be greater than those that is what against it. We call it what supporting, and we also have what we call what resist. Resistance, what forces? Resisting forces. We have supporting force and resisting force. Supporting force are those that are what that support the change. Resisting force are those that oh we don't want to change. So as a word, as a manager, you have to bring up the word. You have to have this entrepreneurship role. Generate new idea. Oh, we are doing it this way before. We are no more doing it that way. Okay. The turbulence was handler. This role requires the manager to seek action needed to resolve what important unexpected word disturbance. This he must seek solution to various world unexpected problems like strike, natural disaster, accident. So as a word, whatever anything that comes up as a manager, there are some things that will come up that is what honest word unexpected. So whatever it is, what, whatever it is, you have to try as much as possible to word. You have to try as much as possible to be able to resolve it. Okay. There are some things that is what well, that is not planned for. When we work, when we get to change management, we'll also be talking about type of change. There's what we call plan change. 
and there's also what we call was unplanned change. So whatever the world, the natural disaster, nobody was, nobody sometimes, <laughs> nobody pray for that. But some of these things, accidents, there are some rigs, fire, all these things will happen. So whatever it happened as a manager, you have to try as much as possible to resolve it within the barest minimum time. That's what we call disturbance. And anything that was any unexpected or fall your demand as a manager, you have to try as much as possible to resolve it. Those are what resources allocators. Resources what allocators. Distro deal with what? Deal with allocation of scarce resources. Distro deal with what? Allocation of scarce resources to different units of the organization. Distro deal with what? Allocation of scarce resources. Oh, let's give five to this. Let's give 10 to this department. This one should handle 10. I should give 10 to accounting department. Give 20 to what? Marketing, production, give them what? 50. So is the manager, manager is a what? Is a resources allocator. This will deal with what allocation of what scarce resources to different units within the world, within the organization. Allocating what allocating scarce resources to different departments within the organization is also another rule of what manager called what resources, what resources allocators, resources, what resources allocators. And we also have another one called what negotiator. Negotiator. Negotiator is the word. Negotiator is the role of the manager to what negotiate. If this particular supply is saying that, oh, I'm going to what for me to supply this particular uh, unit, I need what well, you need to pay me what hundred thousand. So you can as a manager, you have to reward even as it was well, as, <laughs> as a as an individual, you have to have a good negotiation work. A good negotiation skill is very very important in our daily life. You need to negotiate very well. It required that the manager negotiate with various what with various stakeholders, both inside and outside. For example, a manager might what might represent the what the, uh, the corporation to negotiate a trade union agreement, a joint venture agreement, and it is so. So if you're able to what as a as a manager, you should be a good negotiator. They are telling you what if they are telling you something, try as much as possible to also well, don't just accept it like that. Talk to them as well. They are also what they're also human being. You're also a woman being as well. So management levels and what and skills. You know, we say we have uh, how many levels of management? If you have 12, we have three, middle. You can see another name given to what first line manager. You we call it first line manager, we can call it what lower level manager, or we can also call it that what a supervisory what level, the top level, the what. These are management level, the top level, the middle level, and supervisory level. The head of what top level, we call them what the top um, top managers. Middle level, we say what middle level manager. Supervisory level, we say what first line manager or lower level what manager. So what are the sum of the skills that what manager needs, uh, manager need at each of these what at each of these level? In top level, you need a lot of what human. Yeah. Uh, we need a lot of conceptual diagnostic and what and analytical skills as well. And analytical skills also form part of what they also form part of skills that what middle level manager also needs. Middle level management needs what needs skills, need what technical what they need. The majority what they need a lot of skills. They need skills. They need more technical skills and they also need more analytical skills. Analytical skill, ability to reason. Technical, maybe due to your what due to your experience. Analytical skill due to what the data that is presented to you. Try as much as possible to analyze it very well so that you're able to make a what a meaningful decision out of it. So the top level, they, they need what they need a human. Technical skills. Technical skills are what a knowledge of and proficiency in activities involving mental process and what procedures. Those involve working, those it involve what? Working with tools and specific technique. For example, mechanic work with tools, similar accountant apply specific technique in doing their job. That is your technical skills. They do what the techniques, the mentor that you use to carry out your work, to carry out your tasks. 
Human skills are what? Interpersonal. Human skills have to deal with what? Having ability to relate with people. Having ability to relate with people is very, very what? important. Especially at what? The top level. Even though at the middle, even though at what? The supervisory level. We need to be able to have to what? To relate with what? To relate with people. Is a good skill that every manager should have. Every individual should have a what? A good what? A good human, uh, a good interpersonal skills. Human skills, ability to relate with people very well is very, very important. Even though the word, uh, your goals are very okay, the price is not as high, but if the way you relate with your customer, your, your, your stakeholder, if it is not good, you are going to leave. So it's not only about what producing the what a good uh, quality product, quality service, it's also need, you also need a way of what attending to your customer very well. It is the ability to work, to work with people. It includes ability to communicate, to motivate, to influence people. It is the creation of what? It's the creation of an environment in which people feel secure and free to express themselves and to realize their potential. Conceptual skills. It is the ability to the world to see the bigger picture, to recognize a significant element in the situation, and to understand the relationship among the elements, to see the bigger picture, ability to be able to think. Every manager also needs it as well. Conceptual skill, ability to see the, big, the bigger picture in the future. Oh, they are thinking about today. You, you are thinking about, oh, how is next year is going to be? How will the world, the next previous year, in five years' time, how are we going to survive? How are this organization going to be? You are looking at the bigger picture. You are looking about the future. You are not only looking about tomorrow. You have a, you're having a world, a vision. Seeing the world, the long-term prospect, the long-term future aspiration that where are we going to be in this also year? The profit that we are making now, how are we going to continue to make it in the five years time? That is conceptual what skills, ability to see the bigger picture, bigger picture about the future, about a bigger picture that is what, that is different from the what, the current situation. Diagnostic and what analytical skill is the ability to distinguish between what cause and effect, and to solve problem in a way that will benefit the world, the enterprise. Diagnostic and analytical skills is the ability to distinguish between the causes. Oh, what are the causes? What is the effect? If this particular thing occur, what is the effect? And toward and to solve problem in a way that will benefit the world, that will benefit the enterprise. So if as a manager, you have some of these skills, then you know we are a manager. And who is a manager? Manager is the individual who carry out the word management process. And what is the purpose of management? The purpose of management is to what is to achieve the goals and objective of the world of the organization. So if you are once you learn some of this skill, you are also what exhibiting it, then the goals and objective of the organization will be what it should be achieved. The relative what important of those skills may differ at various levels in the world in the organization. Yes, it varies. The first line manager, technical skills are very, very what are mostly what important. Human skills are also helpful in frequently what interaction with subordinate. Conceptual, diagnostic, and analytical skills are usually not critical for what for a lower level manager. And when we say what, well, you know, this one is about what well, seeing the bigger picture. So as a word, <laughs> the lower level manager, the bigger picture may not really be there. At the middle level manager level, the need for technical skills decrease, and human skills are what are essential. Conceptual what skills gain what important at this level for middle level manager as well. At the top level manager, conceptual and analytical skills, along with what, along with human, and what, along with human skills are especially what valuable, but it's what, relative 
little need for a uh, technical or technical ability. And see, technical ability decrease at what it decreased at the at the top. Technical is really what really important at middle and uh, supervisory is also very important. But we need what we need at the top level money level. We need the conceptual and what the human, the conceptual, the analytical, and the human skills are very, very what are very, very important. All right. So now have a look at this concept now. Look at it from the screen. Universality of what management. Have a look at this. Universality of what management is an important word concept to consider in modern management thoughts. When describing management as universal, we are saying that the principle and the technique of management are not only applicable to business, but they are also applicable to other world organizations, irrespective of the world, the sector they belong to. That is what we are referring to. That those were those skills, this all these skills that we are talking about, all these skills as a manager, figurehead, the leader, the liar, the monitor, the disseminator, the spokesman, the entrepreneur, the stop land handler, resources allocators, the negotiator, the technical skills, the human skills, the conceptual, the diagram. So it is not only about in business that you need it. You need all these skills apart from what? This is not only in your organization that you need to exhibit this. No, you need it everywhere. That is what we call what universality of what management. When we are describing manager as universal, we are saying that the principle, the technique, are not only applicable to what to business, but they are also applicable to all organization in respective of the world the sector whether it is a profit or not for profit making organization is a profit organization whether it is a club whether it is in a certain association those concepts those techniques of management you can also use it there it is not only what xyz limited that you what i need that you need to exhibit some of the skills you can do it in your work in your trade on uh, your association the club that you belong to Griffin was in 1999 stated that when a manager leaves work and goes to a weekly meeting of a civic or what a thought group to so can organize a, to, so can organize meeting for a youth soccer league or to a volunteer job in a political campaign, he or she should keep in mind that many of the same function used in the business can be used in those world organization as well. So you go to a, a campaign, you was you charge some marxists, you volunteer to what to do a political campaign. Those things that you were that you are using in your organization, please use it in that particular situation as well. Don't limit it to only what to only your organization alone. Everywhere. That is what we call what universality or word of management that those principles, those techniques are not only limited in the organization. Those skills and techniques that you use as a manager to accomplish the organization goal, you can also extend it to the world, to other world. Uh, you can also extend it apart from what office alone. All right? I hope that is clear, all right. He or she should keep it in mind that many of the same functions used in business can what can be used in those words, in those organizations as well. So let's not be talking about let's not be talking about theories of management. Let's not be talking about what theories of what theories of management. Theories of management. And this theory of management is divided into like five sections. We have what we call the pre-scientific, that is one. We also have what we call the word the scientific what management, that's two. 
We also have what we call the what the administrative management theory. That is what as we'll be talking about what every you That is three. We'll also be talking about the theory of bureaucracy. That is what that is four. Then we'll also be talking about what human relation theory at uh, Tumeo. That is what that is uh, five now. And there's another one, I think there's another one, which is six, that uh, system theory, yes. And we also have what system was, system theory. I think that is all. Okay, we also have what consistency theory, making what, making seven. That's all. So we have what seven what we have seven theories that we need to what that we need to look at seven what we have seven theories that we need to what that we need to look at it's the starting point we have what different individuals that have contributed a lot to development of what of management thoughts we have different what we have different there are many and we'll be looking about some of these some of them let's not start now. So under the word, under the pre-scientific word theory, what are the, some of the people that we have under it? What are the, some of the management scholars that have contributed to the world, to the success of the pre-scientific world, the pre-scientific management? The pre-scientific management area refers to the world, to the period immediately preceding the world, the management by what, by Taylor and his word and his ashes. Prominent among the world, among the pioneer, who made a significant contribution to the world, to the precise world thought we are following. So these are what, these are people. These are what, these are scholars that have made a what, a significant, there are many, but these are what, if we are just like selecting the world, the most important people that we can categorize them as what, as the precise world, the precise world. We have what, Robert Owen. 1771 to what? To 1818, He believed that worker performance was influenced by the total environment in which they work. Which they work. Throughout his life, Owen worked for a word for building of cooperation between workers and what management. He believed and practiced that the idea that workers should be treated as human beings. That is what that is what Owen is telling us. That the what the performance of what employee is determined by their environment. Your performance is determined by your environment. And Owen is saying that oh, if your work, if your environment is good, your performance will also be increased. Your performance will also what will also increase if your performance is what is good. If your, your environment, if your working environment is what is, is good, then your performance will also work. It will also be good. That is a key point. That is a key thing that what Ruben Owen is advocating for. And to much extent, Owen is what? Owen is correct. Your environment also determine your what? Determine your performance. If your what? If your working environment is good, your performance will also be good. Sorry. Owen suggests. Owen suggests that that investment in human being is more profitable than investment in machinery and other world, physical world resources. That is what Owen is saying. That if you're able to invest in human, if you're able to invest in your world, in your employee, you give them training. You what you sponsor them to go to uh, to some seminar. You organize a what you sponsor them to write a professional what certification. That is what that is good, and it is going to be what is going to be more profitable to what to them. Some of your what your uh, some of your employee, you give them courses on what on uh, customer relationship management, CRM. You organize a training for them. So if we have, if they have a good what, if they have a good customer relationship management, is that not going to increase your profitability? So if your employee will give them skills, skills that they needed, you train them. On how oh, these are you are going to attend to customer, don't abuse them. Customer is always right when you visit their organization, work on them, provide the best service that you can to them. 
is, it, is that not going to be profitable? He introduced a new idea such as what? Well, shorter what? Working hours, housing facility, provide housing for them. Education for workers, children what? Uh, workers, uh, education for workers' children. You can pay their work, you can pay their children's school fees. Provision of what canteen for them that we are in office, we are giving you what two meal, we give you the what the breakfast, and you also what we are also going to provide you what a lunch. A, a training, a training for what for workers in what in hygiene. Give them training on what on health and safety. So if that is what Owen is what is advocating for that, if you are able to do what. If you are able to do what, if you are able to do what, if you are able to invest in your work, in your employee, that will really what the output is what is very, very what is very, very massive. Give them a good environment. These are some of the things that you can do. For Shorter working hours, maybe you work three times in a week out of five, Monday to Friday, maybe they only work Monday to work to Wednesday or Monday to work to Thursday. All right. I think education them. Education, housing facility, provide housing facility for them if it is possible. Pay their children's school fees, provide a cartoon for them, rest house, health, medical facility, provide them. If you have any what health challenges, go to this particular hospital. It is a world, it is a company that will pay, provide them for them. That is what Owen is what he's advocating for. What is Charles Babbage? Babbage was what? He was a professor. Of mathematics at what Cambridge University from what 1828 to what 18 what 1839. Bobby perceived that the method of science and mathematics could be applied to operation of what factory. He made a several what he made a several contribution explaining the idea of what ideas his ideas and what and theory. That is all what math is a what is a professor of what mathematics. So he's now what is advocating for what that some of the mentor of what uh, the mentor that the science use to carry out their work, some of the mathematic what mathematics method can also be applied to solve problem relating to what to factory. Bobby was a pioneer of what operational research and was industrial what engineering. He laid a word a considerable emphasis on what specialization, work measurement. Optimal uh, utilization of what machine, cost reduction and what wage incentive. His emphasis is on the application of science and mathematics, laid the foundation of what the formulation of science, uh, foundation of the word science of what of management. So that's what what as what uh, Charles Babbage is what he's trying to do is that oh some of the what the scientific what some of the sciences and the mathematical way we can introduce it to factory as well. And if we introduce it to the factory as well, what is the purpose of introducing what mathematics and what and science mentor is to what is to is is to achieve what optimal what utilization of our resources, optimal utilization of our resources. Achieve a what a cost reduction, wages incentive. You can see each of them have what have different contribution. What is uh, Robert Owen advocating for? Investment in what in human. The performance of your what of your workers is affected by their work by uh, the environment. So invest in them. So uh, Charles Babbage is saying about oh some of the mathematical some of the scientific way we can introduce it as well and if we introduce it what are some of the things that we are going to achieve maximum utilization will be achieved as well you can see that each one of them have different unique things that they are talking about what is Harry talking about poor advocated for what for management system. With a clear organization structure in which people could be heard was completely accountable and the need for a set of what operating was reporting summarizing revenue and what rate he was a what a strong advocate for what effective leadership that could overcome routine and dullness by installing in the what organization a feeling of what unity effective work ability and a spirit of the world, they call. 
And Paul called for a word, a system before what Taylor. He called for recognition of what human factors before Mayo as well. We're actually going to talk about what Eto Mayo. So Eri has talked about what human before what? Before Taylor. And before even the word, the human relation theory, which was developed by what? Eto Mayo through a research in what? In Chicago. Electricity company was in Chicago, the US. So he's advocating for what? A clear organization structure, a management system that will have a clear organization structure. I'm going to know what I'm going to do in office. I will know who I'm reporting to. There's a what? There's a specialization, there's clear structure. And they should be what effective what effective leadership. I'm I already have the word a certain responsibility that is given to me. So once the responsibility is given to you, and I know you are the one that should do this particular task, to what to subject me to accountability now, it will be easy. Before you can have accountability, there must be what responsibility, a clear responsibility. So your employee, that is what what Ari is advocating for. Give them there should be a what a management structure, clear structure, so that everybody will know. Oh, it is my responsibility to perform what bank reconciliation. I work in the world in the accounting department. I am the what the reconciliation officer. I am the what the fixed asset accountant. I am the what the payable what officer. So have the what a clear structure, so that it will be easy to what it will be easy to what accountability will be easy once there's a clear structure. He also suggests that leadership to overcome the reality of the former organization, much more before was crisis as well. So that means that you have some what uh, Ari have some of what is have some of uh, uh, the characteristics of what the human relation are what are saying. We also have what Captain World, Captain Ari. What is Captain Harris? A kafa. Suggests or uh, publish a what a famous book called what? The cause of manufacture of workshop. The cause of what? Is take note of this. Maybe we see it in your words, in your short answer. What is the, the famous book of what? Captain Harry. Is the what? The cause of what? Manufacture of workshops. New system control. We we'll suggest that the science of management is based on principle that involve by recording observation and experience. That is a management process. Management will record observation. They record what experience, observation and what experience. The art of management should be based on several what recorded and accumulated observation, which are presented systematically. The art of management should be based on what several what record, not just one, several, and accumulated what observation, which are presented what systematically. Management should what management should make a certain what estimate on the basis of those what observation. However, management should maintain only what relevant crucial information. A manager should prepare a duties of war, which would then be communicated to the foreman and workers. The science of management is based on what? The science of management is based on experience. It's based on what? Recording of what? Recording of observation and what? And experience. But what the art of management should not just be should not just based on what should not just based on one experience and observation. It should be based on what it should be based on several what it should be based on several recorded and accumulated what observation. Management should make a certain cost estimate on the basis of those observations. That means that there's an element of what cost now coming in.
it suggested a system of what card. Under this system, manager prepare a what? A two type of card, time card and what? A material card. It suggested the word, this Captain Harry suggested what? Preparation of card. Preparation of how many card? Preparation of two card. This can feature in what? In short answer. The short answer question. What are the words? What are the two cards suggested by what Captain Harry Mikawa? Suggested what two card? Time card and what material what card? This system was intended to uh, to assure that workers that get that uh, this system was intended to assure that workers that good workers and good work done by them should be known to what to management. It also provided the word method of what gorging their work. Time card, material card. This system was intended to assure, to assure the workers that good workers and good work done by them will be known to management. You know, as human beings, once you know that people are watching you, <laughs> there's a tendency that you need you will be doing well. But have it at the back of your mind that even though when people are not looking at you, try as much as possible to do a what a good job. Don't make it what don't make it a habit. It's only when you are in public that you be behaving what's good in your various houses that you are alone, behave very well as well. So don't say because what oh there's a record system in place that is why you are doing the good job. And when people are not looking at you, you are doing the bad thing. So whether people are looking at you or they are not looking at you, always make sure that you do the what you, you do the right thing. Okay. No, we are talking about what now. That is the concept of what universality of what management. There are some of the things that you are doing at your office. You can also do it at what wherever situation that you find yourself. Having a what doing the good things is not also limited to your office, in your various community as well, in your various homes and houses. Try as much as possible to always do the good things at the right time. All right. So those are the words, those are the four words, those are the four prominent words, uh, those are the four prominent uh, scholars in words in the precise word management. Robert Harry, Charles, Harry Van Paul, and Captain, what Captain Harry. Let's now go to the word to the scientific word, scientific management. The scientific management was concerned with improving productivity by improving performance standard of individual workers. The standard awards are established through systematic observation, experiment, or what a reason. That is the word. That is the key message of the word of the scientific word management. The scientific management was concerned with improving what productivity by improving what performance was standard of individual what workers. That is what they are interested in. The scientific management was concerned with improving productivity. How are we going to improve productivity? By improving performance standard of what individual? For me to improve performance, for me to increase our productivity in this factory, then improvement also, also come from the workers as well. If the workers is improved, then the perform the productivity was in that factory was also was it was also improved. So they are like two or they are like two variable here now. We want to improve productivity by improving performance or standard of what of individual workers. And how do we what how do we um, those standard are what are established through systematic observation, experiment or what or reason. Some of the earliest advocate of what scientific management are what the dictator, the popular man, Frank Gibbet, Nina Gibbet is like husband or what like husband and why. Harry Harry Gantt, and it was in production management we all we call what Gantt what charts. We usually use it in what we use it in network analysis. We also have what Emerson um, and but Taylor is what Taylor is the most popular word. Taylor 
Petritello is the most popular among the world. Sometimes we call it what the father of the world, the scientific management. You heard about the father of the world, the scientific world management is what Petritello. Father of the world, the scientific management is what is Frederick Ward Taylor. Frederick Taylor is considered as the world, the father of the scientific management. Taylor, first job was that of the world as if as it uh, was that of the world a reformer at the Mr. Woods Company in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is in what is in US, where you observe that employee deliberately what walk at a pace slower than their capability. A study, a study and what time, each element of the steel workers job. So uh, that is uh, what Taylor first discovered is that in this factory in Philadelphia, in US, is that it discovered that workers are working less whereby they have the ability to work more. That is one of no scientific deal with what observation, experiment, and reasoning. So that's what Taylor discovered. Oh, in this factory, this worker still have ability to produce more, but they are working what they are working less. They determined that each worker should produce and then design the most effective way of doing each part of the world, of the total work. He implemented the word pieces work wage system and he linked any of workers to their world production. And in your world, in your course, what in your course accounting, under what? Under labor. You no, know, we have what element of course. We have material, labor, and what and overhead. We have three elements of course material, labor, and what over it. So under labor, we have different means of what remuneration. We have time, that is, we are going to pay you based on the hours that you work. That is one. We also have another one that it is also not going to be, uh, it's going to be based on your work, your output. It's not going to be based on the hours that you use. There is a wage system that we are going to use the hour that you use. Then there's another wage system that we are going to use your word, your output. So Freddie Taylor advocate for what? He implement the pieces work, work wage system and in link any of workers to their production, the numbers of uh, pieces that you, that you produce. So who implement this in this factory is what is Taylor. Taylor advocated for this that your earning should be based on what? How many units do you produce? Because Taylor has discovered that people are working less. So he now introduced this word, this wage system, that what? Your earnings is to be determined by the word, the unit of what? How many units do you produce? And honestly, there's advantage to this and there's also what? There's also disadvantage to this as well because if an employee are what they are they are trying to oh let me what produce more let me produce more you know it's it will it can affect the quality of the what the quality of the service or the quality of the product because in your mind now you always try as much as possible to end more you only try as much as possible to end more but you may not really be doing what you may not really be producing or rendering the service very well. So that's one of the main disadvantage of what paying what paying workers paying workers based on what units they what units they produce. What is the key principle? The Taylor principle hanging on the word on the following: replacing rules of thumb with principle of science, so that the best method for performing each task. Could be what could be determined. Replacing the rule of all term with the principle of science so that the best method, leave the traditional, let's bring in science now. So that what? So that the best method of performing each task will be determined. Scientist selection of what? Workers 
so that each worker will be given what responsibility for a tax or a job for which he or she is most was suited. Just like what conjoint survey. Oh, now which area are you good at? Just like it was a medical doctor now. There are some of them that oh, they specialize in what any matter that has to do with what maybe babies. There are some of them that are what surgeon, just like what as an accountant now. There are some accountants that are what they are auditor. There are some of them that are what they are tax, they specialize in tax. There are some of them that specialize in what maybe forensic accounting. There are some of them that specialize in what investigation and fraud. So it's scientific what selection. Now, oh, if you like tax, oh, specialize in tax. If you like audits, specialize in what in audits. Divide what responsibility for managing and for what for working, and devise what scientific what education and training program as well in terms of what division of labor. Let's have different people devise responsibility for managing and for working. Ensuring cooperation between workers and management is also very, very, well, it's also very, very important to provide a, what, a work environment that reinforces optimal work results in a scientific manner. So there has to be like a, what, a good relationship now between the two parties, between the manager and the, what, and the workers in the factory. Providing what incentive to workers using what pieces raise system. Providing incentive to what to workers using what pieces raise system. In terms of what be able to produce higher than this, then there's a what there's another incentive that is what that is available for you. So these are the what these are the principle of what of Fergie Taylor. Frank and Lena. Frank and Lena were what were noted pioneer of what time and motion was studied. Don't forget this as well. This is short answer. There was, like I told you earlier, there was, there they are husband and what they are husband and why. This couple developed the what, the classification of motion used to complete the job, and they call them what the bricks. Lena was name is plainly what backward. Working individual and together develop a what a numerous what technique and strategy for eliminating what inefficiency. In terms of what when we work together, we're able to work, we're able to achieve a what a greater what a greater output. What is Ari talking about? He worked with what with Taylor on several projects, including what consultancy with assignment in Sigmund and what Bethlehem was still working independently. What later he developed what other technique for improving what worker output. Gansi introduced a word, a charting system for what production schedule called what Gansi was chart. And oh, don't worry, let me what. Hold well, on, let me what. Let me share my screen to this. Don't worry, I'm still getting Gansi what. Usually use it in what. There's some software that can work that can perform it. Anti chart. Uh, okay, so this one email that could have been used to explain this very well. Don't worry, sir. Sure. That's still what we are still going to work. And you could have come across this in what in QA. Your quantitative what uh quantitative technique in ATS2 under what network analysis? Is it under network or transportation? Which is what which is still used today in what is is still in what is still in use today. Gantt chart are good for scheduling a series of what unrelated what activities, such as what a separate what production run in a what in a job operation. The chart are what graphic what planning and control method. He also was developed a work a work quota what system. So apart from what apart or uh, Eric, apart from developing this particular chart, he also developed a what work quotas or uh, work quota system with bonus system for workers and manager who meet or exceed their their quota. A worker quota system in terms of what a numbers of units to be given to you, like for a day now produce ten. 
but if you're able to able to uh, be able to produce above what above 10 then there's also a what there's also a bonus that will be what i'll be giving to you so you develop what two things a, ch a gantt chart and a what and a worker quota system no worries. let me look for a, a best graph that I can use i'm still going to explain this Oh. Yeah, some software that can do this. I'm just looking for an image that we, that we best use to explain this. So, let's take one. Major contribution. Developing with what a managerial skills, developing a what developing a managerial skills, develop development of managerial skills of job design through division of labor and specialization of what of labor, development of what managerial what managerial skills through what through division of what labor and specialization of labor. Division, you be in this area. Uh, speciali specialization, what are you good at? Just like in accounting, oh, do you want to specialize in taxation? Do you want to specialize in audit? Do you want to specialize in what fraud and investigation? The concept of what productivities and wage rates based on what productivities of employee, just like what it also have element of what uh, Frederick Taylor has was make mention of as well. That is the productivities and wage rate based on what Productivities of employees. If you what we are the same employee, but if I produce more than you, then I'm going to earn more than you. It's as simple as that. The concept of what what is the the major contribution of scientific management. The concept of what the. Oh, sorry. So in scientific management now you can see uh, people that we look at now. This what is Taylor, Frank. And what an area. So, what are the contribution of the scientific what management? Contribution of the word the scientific what management, development of what uh development of managerial what development of managerial skills, development of managerial skills design through what through division of what labor and specialization of labor. Scientific management preach for what division of labor and specialization as well. Then your productivity, your earnings should be measured by your productivities as well. That is what, what Freddie Taylor is saying. Because he discovered that what workers have what ability to perform more, but they are working what they are working less. Important of what scientific was selection in terms of uh, selection and what and trading of employee introduction of the use of what rational and what cost reduction technique to increase what efficiency and what performance and formulation of what work standard these are the what these are the five major contribution one you can jot this down i say what division of labor and what specialization Another one, you can call it what productivities, so that you, productivity in terms of, uh, sorry, uh, ends, productivities and what an ends. You are, you are going to end more, you produce more. Important, important the words, scientific selection and, what, and training of employee as well. Introduction of rationale, what rationale and cost reduction technique to increase what efficiency and what performance and formulation of what work standard. Work standard, these are what we expected from you. Work standard, these are what we expected from you. And what are the limitations as well? The scientific management are applicable only to what? A predictable and a stable environment and have limited what? Application in complex and unpredicted what? Environment. Well, we are, now this is one of the limitations that this scientific world management is only applicable in the world in a stable environment. Environment that is what that is stable. It is now what it is very difficult to use some of their principles in what 
in an environment that is or what that is unstable and business environment just like we talked about in the previous class is on what is dynamic is on is unpredictable it over emphasize the economic and the rational nature of what man and overstate what man desire for what for money It's overemphasized on what economies and rational what nature of what man and overstate what man what man desire for what for money. The scientific management theory did not what attach importance to what to woman behavior. It overlooked the woman desire for what those uh, satisfaction social need of workers. Oh, what scientific management is preaching majority is about productivity is about productivity so what they neglect the word the other aspect that oh apart from what because if i increase productivity now you know that is for the betterment of the organization they are not also what they are not also uh they are not also looking at what they are not also looking at so on the areas areas of um uh, how can we motivate our employee what are some of the need of our employee as well over emphasis on productivities and profitability it leads some manager to explore both workers and what customers productivity and profitability so once we're able to produce more the next thing that we'll be thinking is oh these goods that we have produced how can we sell it so which leads to some management uh, manager exploiting what workers and what customers taylor assumed that any and profit maximization could be what complementary and that manager and that the manager could what could cooperate this assumption was what unreal, unrealistic because both parties sometimes held opposing view about what employment what relation taylor assumed that any and what profit maximization should be complementary complementary in terms of what if we produce more you get more if you not produce more you are not going to pay more produce more lead to what to pay rights you produce less it leads to what or uh, low payments it make wage bargaining what difficult worker merely accept that manage, management consider fear or it is prepared to pay what it's prepared for it was for a day job taylor assumed that perspective of the manager or work and wages are automatically what the correct one and which is not it make wage bargaining difficult. Workers merely accept what manage, uh, manage, uh, management consider fear or is prepared to pay for a day job. So it's just, and this one <laughs> may be due to the what due to the population. If I say I'm going to pay you what? uh five uh five let's say five dollars now and we are not what we are now we are not we are not satisfied i'll get another one so it make it difficult for what it make it difficult for the workers to be able to bargain now pay me five what five dollar per hour is a little bit low it excludes what employee from participating in what in management he put the planning and control of work entirely on the hand of what management. But you know what? Employees are not allowed to work. Employees are not given chance to also take part in the work in the management process as well. It's complete overlook the what the positive role of what trade union and informal what groups in business by insisting that manager management should still should what should deal with workers on the what on individually based they ignore the trade union oh this is the what this is the minimum wage some of the these are minimum wages some of the workers in or uh, some of the management may know what may not pay attention to what may not pay attention to them so these are the what these are the contribution of the word of the scientific management they try as well they try but they also have good limitation, all right? They tried as well, they tried, especially if we listen to some of beyond what we have in our part, because in this particular syllabus now, we also make mention of three of them, which is what Taylor, 
uh, Dina and what and Eric, they are some of the was some of the scientific management as well, and they really make it good. They really try as well, considering the what the business environment at that particular what at that particular time. So kudos to them. Now we now have the what we now have the administrative role, administrative theory, and that's where we now talk about what Eric Frayo. The word, the father of the administrative word management is what Eri Frayu. Is it just like what Freddy Pelio is popular in the words in the scientific management? In the administrative word management, the word, let me just say the father of the administrative word management is what Eri Frayu. The father of the word, the scientific word management is what is Freddy Taylor. Developer at the time of what at the time of scientific management, the administrative theory emphasized management functions and attempt to generate what broad administrative principle that could serve as a guideline for the rationale of activities. The principal contributor of this management theory is what Frayo, Monirali, Roki. Administrative theory look at productivity's improvement from the top down, from the world, from the top down, as distinct from the scientific approach of Taylor, which is what, bottom up. In terms of what administrative theory is about what, top down, the scientific is about what, bottom up, meaning that what, productivity is going to increase from top, at least we are looking at the world from the angle of the manager himself rather than looking at it from the world, from the top down, because the top button is the scientific money, that is the productivity or the sources of the organization. Now we are looking at it from the angles of the employee, but the administrative theory now, we are now looking at it from the angle of the world, from the management downward, top down. That is the administrative. We are looking at it, we are starting from the manager to the world, to the employee. The scientific is starting from what? From the employee to what? To the manager. Administrative what theorics develop general guidelines on how to formalize both organization structure and relationship. They laid emphasis on what on the job in reference in preference to the word to the worker. The administrative management emphasized the manager and function of what function of manager. Who is the most popular one? Is what is Frayu. He was the contemporary word of Frederick Wilson Taylor in the scientific management. Rayo believed that it was the technique of what effective management could be defined and taught. His work include what defining a word, a body of principle, which could what which could enable manager build up a word, a formal structure of organization at administer in the word in the rational way. So that is apart from what, apart from just making emphasis about what employee, employee, let's look about what manager himself. So Friar divide the activities of industrial taking into what? Into six. Divide it into what? Into six. We have what we call technical. That is the activities of industry, the activities of organization. It divided into how many? It divided into six. That is the activities of organization is divided into how many? The activities of organization is divided into what? Six. We have the technical, which is save the word, the production. The commercial, buying, selling, and the word, and the estate, I'll buy the raw material, we'll take it to the factory, then we we'll send it back to the market. That is the commercial. The financial, the optimal use of what? Capital resources. Resources as cars. So optimal uses of them is what is the financial. Accounting, protection of what property and person as well. Protection of what property and what person is the what is the accounting activities. We also have another word, accounting activities called accounting, which is about what recording and taking of what stock, the stock of what cost, the profits and the liability. Keeping what balance sheet and accompanying what statistic balance sheet as a what or statement of what financial position. 
Then we also have the word the managerial activities as well, which comprises of the word the planning, the organizing, the commanding, the coordinating, and the word and the control. So every Friot define the word, divide the activities of organization into C's, technical, commercial, financial, accounting. In terms of what the first one is the protection of what property and enforcing, accounting, about what recording as well. And we also have the word the managerial. There's a name that we call this. Let me what? Let me even check it out now. Let me delete this. Let me copy this. There's another name that we okay. Show this. Hmm. Yeah. We have what account, uh, we have technical, we have commercial, we have financial, we have security. Yes, it's not, it's not supposed, it's not accounting. This is what is security, please don't forget. This is what security. Let me, I like it. This is what, this is security. Uh, security, it has to do with what security is what protection of property and person. That is security. Then we now have accounting. Accounting is not what it's not twice, it's just what it's just one. Just one, just one. So what is a mistake from here? Okay, sorry about that. Then we have what technical, we have commercial, we have financial, we have security, we have accounting, and we also have what managerial. So this is not what this is not this. Let me highlight it very well again. Sorry, come back. This is what. So don't forget technical, commercial, financial, security, accounting, and what a managerial. All right. As you can see there as well. Technical, commercial, financial, security, accounting, and what a managerial. All right. Technical, commercial. So that is what that is. What. These are the what these are the uh, uh, the activities of organization by what by for you we divide the activities of organization into what uh, into six don't forget please the technical the what the commercial the financial the security the accounting and the what and the managerial all right the principle of what every for you. We have 14 principles of words, Eri Frayu. And I was, I forget there's a mnemonic that I use them because I'm also what? I'm also an AAT. I passed through this examination, uh, this examination as well. Okay, I'm also an AAT as well. So we have was 14 principle of words, Eri Frayu. We have 14 principles of words, Eri Frayu. And there's a mnemonic that I was, which is, I can't, I can't remember. But these are the 14 principles. You can come up with the word, the mnemonic, which is going to be fine to help you. These are the word, Eri Frayo. These are the 14 principles of what Eri Frayo. We have what? Division of labor. People, the people, the more people specialize, the more efficiently they can perform their work. Specialized people. Oh, I am good. I was specialized in accounting. Oh, taxation. Okay. So you're able to give me a work, a work now relating to tax, you know, are able to perform very well. So there should be division of labor. We have what authority and what authority and responsibility. Manager need to be able to give orders so that they can get what? They can get things done. Discipline. Member in the organization need to respect the rules and what? Rules and what? Rules and agreement that govern the organization. There has to be discipline. All rules and regulation that is governing the activities of the organization, try as much as possible to what? Maintain them. The first one, we have what? Division of labor. Authority and what? Responsibility. We also have what? Discipline. Unit of what? Unit of command. Unit of what? Unit of command. Each employee must receive his or her what instruction about a particular what operation 
from only one superior. Frio believed that if an employee was responsible to more than one superior, conflict in instruction and confusion of authority could result. So unit of command means that oh, as employee now, as you have what, as you have one particular superior that will give me instruction. Oh, Abdulashiu, I want you to do this, and I will also report to that particular what manager as well. So if what if I'm receiving instruction from what from different manager, there will be a, what a conflict, and that will affect my performance. Another one, we also have what subordination of individual interests to the common world. Good. Subordination of individual interests to the world to the common good. In any undertaking, the interests of employees should not take what precedent over the interests of the organization as a whole. So, as employee, you may have your own interests. We recognize that. Let's be honest with ourselves. So, just like in your world, if we can flash back to your agency theory in your business law. The agents and the world and the principal usually have conflict. And one of the words, one of the conflicts is that the agent can have his own interest, the principal will also have his own interest. So one of the words, one of the duty of agents, of a good agent is that the word, the principal interest should come first. The principal interest you what should come first as well as an agent, as a good agent, your principal what interest should be the what the primary interest before your own. So the subordination of individual interest to the common as employee, the what you have your own interest, but the interest of the organization should supersede your own what should supersede that of your own interest. That is what we call what subordination of what individual interest to the common good. Remuneration. <laughs> Compensation for work done should be fair for both the employee and the world and the employer as well. Pay them very well. Centralization. Decreasing the work, decreasing the work of subordinates in decision making is centralized. Increasing their role is decentralization. In terms of what uh, the centralization, in terms of what maybe all decision will be made by the head office, then we pass it to the what the division. So when you are also making some of the decision, let the what the employee also what also form part of it. Friar believed that what managers should retain final responsibility, but also need to give their what their subordinate enough responsibility to do their job properly. You have the final decision, but carry your what carry your employee along as well. Ask them, you can ask them some questions as well. Oh, how do you feel? But you have the word, you have the final word, you have the final decision. Hierarchy, just like the organization structure. This is the word, this is the line of authority in the organization. Line of what authority in the word organization. It is often represented by the word a next box and lines of what organization chart. So let me see what organization chart now. So, so that you will example, we are still going to work, we are still going to talk about organization what organization structure. So I just say organization chart so that you're able to see a certain image of it. Or what? So this is what is like organization chart as well. We have the CEO at the top, we have manager production, we have manager what marketing. And we have what we have other what we also have employee that is reporting to the world to the manager. So sales officer, sales officer A, B. Then we also have sales person, sales person as well. So each word as a manager, so each word like production, marketing, and is reporting to what is reporting to the CEO. We have different organization structures. All right, just going to talk about that. Order. Material and what people should be in the world the right place at the world at the right time. Material and people should be at the right place at what at the right time. Equity. Manager should be what should be both friendly and fair so they are subordinate. Treat everybody what equal, irrespective of the world their color, irrespective of their world their religion, irrespective of their world their ethnicity. Treat everybody what equal. There should be what equality, fair treatment, stability of what staff. I employee turnover is not good for the what efficient what functioning of organization. 
try as much as possible to reduce your word labor turnover. Some of us, you could have come across it in your word in your course accounting. We have what we call labor turnover. Labor turnover is a word. The word uh, uh, how, how am I going to put it? The word, the rate of what people leaving the organization, the rate of what people leaving and people what coming in. That's what we call what labor turnover. And what as organization try as much as possible to what to reduce your work, your labor turnover. Always try as much as possible to retain your work, your intellectual capital. Always try as much as possible to retain your work, your employee. Incentive, initiative, subordinate should what? Subordinate should be given freedom to what? To conceive and what? Carry out their plan even when some what? Make mis uh, even when some mistake what? Results. Subordinate should be given the what? Subordinate should be given freedom that can give them freedom. Let also what? Let them also think. Let them also carry out their what? Let them also carry out their activities. Even when some of them what make mistakes, they make mistakes, correct them in the word in a good way. A spirit the word, a spirit the call. Or sometimes we call it what togetherness. Sometimes we call it what togetherness. Promoting the word, a team spirit, we give the word, the organization, a sense of what? A sense of unity. To fire you, one way to achieve this spirit is to what? Is to use a verbal communication. Communication instead of what written communication, whenever it is what, whenever it is possible. Promoting what team spirit will give what, give the organization a sense of what, a sense of unity. Team spirit, let's work, Lord. let's work together. Let's work together so that we're able to achieve this organization goal. One department cannot do it alone. One divisional manager cannot do it alone. So we need to work together. So these are the what, these are the 14 principle of what of every Frayu. Every Frayu divide the word, the activities of organization into how many? Into six. Technical, commercial, financial, security, accounting, and managerial. Technical. Commercial, financial, security, accounting, and what managerial. The principle of what uh, Eric Fryo principle. We call it what fourteen principle of what Eric Fryo. Division of labor, authority and responsibility, discipline, unit of what command, subordination of individual interest to the what the common interest, remuneration, centralization, hierarchy, order, equity. Stability of staff, initiative, and spirit of comes. Contribution, what are the contribution of what? What are the contribution of what? What are the contribution of what are the contribution of uh, every fry your principle? For your principle laid on the foundation of what? Management theory. Identify key process functions and skills said for managers that are what that are still important today made management a valid subject of what of scientific inquiry it made management the subject of what valid for scientific inquiry it is it, very good it's very it contributed like every value wow it's a good man limitation is principle at best, in the worst, in the simple environment, in a stable organization, provide what provide a universal what procedure that may not be appropriate in all settings. Provide a universal what procedure that is the principle, the fourteen principle, may not be appropriate in all what in all settings. So these are the what these are the contribution and some of the limitation of what um, Every uh, every principle in the what in the administrative what management in the administrative what management. So we are going to what we are going to stop at this what we are going to stop here for what for this class. And what in the next class we are going to what we are going to continue what we are going to continue starting from what the theory of what the theory of what the theory of bureaucracy the theory of bureaucracy by what by Max Weber. So we're able to talk about what three theory now. We're able to talk about the pre-scientific theory. We're able to talk about the scientific theory, and we're able to talk about the about the administrative work, about the administrative work theory. So let me do a very recap of some of the things that we talk about in the words in the theories of what management. 
study theories of management, the science, we talk about Owen, and Owen is advocating for what for good environment for your work for your workers. Just Barbie is talking about the word, the scientific word, this, and the mathematical and scientific word way. We can also introduce it in what in management as well. Er is also advocating for some of what uh, some of the characteristics of what human relation, like what good leadership, good organization structure. Captain, what Captain Eri? Er is scientific management. We dwell in on what Freddie Taylor. Freddie Taylor is the word, is the father of the word, the scientific word management. What are the some of the principles? Uh, the couple, Frank and what, Lina. Eric Ganti, the Ganti chart, you introduce a Ganti chart and you also introduce the word, a work, a work quota system. A work quota system that we're able to, that we, uh, the manager will be able to see, oh, the employee that have done the work, the good job, and the one that have done the work, the part. What is the contribution as well? And what is the limitation? Talk about the science, majorly about what? About Eric Fryo. And if I would divide what the activities of what industry into six, we have the technical, the commercial, the financial, the security, the accounting, and the what and the managerial. And we talk about what the principle. So in the words, in the next class, by God's grace, we are going to what we are going to continue from what we are going to continue. We are going to continue from what from the theories of what management, starting with the words uh, theory of what bureaucracy by what by Max Weber. So thank you, what? Thank you very much. If there's any area that you want me to explain now, please, if you're most, I'll be glad to do that as well. So thank you very much, and what? God bless you. This is what this is the second section of the word, the syllabus, called the principle of what management.